Hello my dear friends, I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, let's talk again about action, taking action and um, developing good habits that are consistent with what your values are and what your belief systems are. Um, so today we're going to talk about, uh, I have, I've spoken about this in the past where I did mention that sometimes between um, action and uh, uh, something that um, something that you would like to do, which is an action, of course, and something gets in the way and that is usually thought. The thoughts come in that I, do I want to do this? I don't like this. I don't feel like doing it, doing this. Sometimes those thoughts are more of an impulse. Be, it's something that kind of in the spur of the moment it happens. And later on, you actually feel bad about it and you feel guilty for listening to that thought. So this video is more about that, that whenever you feel a little bit more impulsive and there's um, just uh, for no reason you don't want to do an action the best way to approach that is what I said in my previous video is that interrupt the process between thinking and action try to use something that I um, quoted another author last time that uh, I forgot her name now um, to use that uh, rocket launch kind of approach here is me uh, trying to get up and do the dishes and here I'm me counting one two three four five and I'm being launched towards the action so I'm interrupting the top process so that's in one way another way is to kind of check in with your belief system if something that you would like to do is already part of your belief and your value but you've been really really struggling to do that the good way to 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 do that is or maybe one helpful way there are many ways to do that but i'm going to just mention one that i found out to be helpful is to make a sense of duty and this is something that we can probably learn from collectivist cultures that sometimes like in 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 cases that um, in some cases, for example, looking after a sick person, they make a sense of duty or looking after their, for example, parent, it's a sense of duty for them. It's not a matter of liking or wanting or something like that. They just take upon themselves because it feels so right with what they believe in. So that would be one example to make something as a sense of duty it can be helpful. Now, maybe it would be challenging to actually even figure out how to make that as a part of your duty. If the outcome of that action is something that feels right, then I would suggest that this can be a good uh, goal for making it as a part of your duty. Uh, for example, if the outcome of, I don't know, going for a walk makes you feel more energetic, you feel more active, um, and you feel that this is the right thing to do, then making that as a part of your action and duty um, that will give you a satisfying feeling at the end once your walk is done. And I'm not referring to myself because usually for me walking is more than a sense of duty. I feel like this is the best thing that we can do and I'm so grateful for the weather that we have here. Um, this year winter is not too too cold so I'm so grateful. I hope this helps and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below. Have a great day.